Hello, Stacey Jensen from Colorville, and I am so excited to show you the new launch of the Preset Collection Effortless. This preset collection is for the newest update of Lightroom. The preset files are XMP files. Please make sure that that is the version of Lightroom that you have. Again, it's the newest, the latest version of Classic. And it is for computer, not mobile though we are coming out with the mobile version of this shortly. So in this preset collection, I wanted to go through and show you some of the easiest things and why we created our presets like this. Let me start with a reset image. Here we have an image and the way that our presets are created is that they are not going to adjust your exposure because this is dependent upon the camera, the lighting and the photographer. So rather than skew your results with lighting, we only develop the presets to adjust all of the settings other than that. It's very simple to do. We're gonna go ahead and choose a preset. Let's click H. And our presets were designed with the simple lettering system so that you can find what you love the fastest. So you click a preset and then you just go ahead and up your exposure. So if you wanted to be light and airy, you can now pull that exposure up higher. If you wanted moody, you could pull it down. We're going to go light and airy on this one. And I'm also going to adjust the temperature just slightly. And we're all set. The next one, this is already reset, no edits. We're going to choose D for this one. And that's it. I don't actually have to adjust exposure on this one at all. And you do not need to pull this exposure slider if it already works straight out of click. But again, all of our presets are set at a zero exposure so that you can adjust them exactly to fit your image. Let's go ahead and reset this. So this is a good one to show dark at first. Let's click D and then up our exposure to be light and airy maybe make it just slightly warmer. The great thing with our presets is that once you have adjusted this exposure for the image, the presets will not overwrite that. So when you go to choose a different preset, it will keep what you already set, which is really nice. As well as if you chose it to be a black and white, it will keep what you already chose. So it kept it at 105, 1.05 and you for black and white, sometimes you have to go up a little higher. Okay, so we're gonna go D on that one. The next one is already set, so this is straight out of camera. Let's go with D on this one. I really liked this full session with D. And again, light. If we wanted to choose a different one, now we could just go scroll through and see what might better fit her session. Maybe we stuck with M for this. And I'm gonna go just a little less warm. Okay, the next one is already reset. This is straight out of camera again. We'll go with D. With this one, I don't mind the contrast. Instead of being light and airy, I'm gonna keep it and not adjust any exposure, but I probably am going to warm up the temperature just slightly. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed taking a peek at this preset collection. Again, it was designed so that you were getting in and getting out of Lightroom as fast as possible while creating a good professional feel to your images. This set includes three black and whites, and they're very great at just one click. You only have to adjust exposure. It also comes with an entire list of color. It comes with lens correction, which I feel is really great. Let me just reset this and hit lens correction. Sometimes people really need this and then you can just go ahead and apply a color to it. Or if you're into product photography, we have a large list of product um, A through E on product presets. So I hope that you liked what we showed you here today. I'm super excited about this new preset collection. Uh, I hope to see you soon in the group. So pop on over to Facebook and look for the Colorvale Tribe. Have a great day.